meditation is a mindfulness meditation and it's one that I return to um, time and time again always with the idea of um, beginning again, starting again and it's a, a practice where we come into contact with our breath, our body, physical sensations in our body, sounds that are around us and thoughts inside our head so it um, takes on the whole experience of what we're living in this moment, in this place. And it's with the idea, mindfulness is with, is with the idea that we, we experience everything that's going on around us and paying attention to each moment that arises without judgment. And the key phrase there really is without judgment. And if we begin to think that we're bored or we can't do it or I keep thinking or this isn't happening for me right now, I've had enough, that's just those judgments that we learn eventually not, not to judge, so we don't judge the judging mind. So in a sense, there is that idea that we, we do go around in circles a little bit, but can we enjoy that? Can we enjoy that whole process? And then we just start again. And it's with the idea as well that we're not trying to change anything or control anything. Um, and it's been said that one of the most simplest ways to reduce our stress or to reduce our anxiety is to not want things to be different, to not control anything, to not think we should be different, not think we should be feeling something different. Um, and when those kind of understandings start to arise within us, our living, the way that we live, um, takes on a whole different meaning, just to allow things to be just as they are. And that phrase, it is what it is, takes on a whole different level or depth of meaning. And it all starts with our breath. So if we, um, you can work this meditation lying down as long as you're comfortable or you can sit, or like me, I, I sit on a cushion when I meditate. So um, sitting or lying, but whatever, however you decide to be, you're in a comfortable place. Um, and making sure that it's relatively quiet as well. And I never really say making sure that you can't be disturbed or you're completely peaceful because life isn't like that. There are disturbances. I mean, I, I have two dogs, so if you hear sort of sounds, you might hear one of those now and again. But it's that idea that we don't exist in silence. So to learn to be silent within ourselves, no matter what's going on around us, is, is a benefit to health and a benefit to the way that we live our lives. So come into a comfortable place, whether you're sitting or lying, and just placing your hands in your lap or your hands, palms facing up, on your thighs as you're sitting or down by your side if you're lying and you can keep your eyes open but if you keep your eyes open just focusing on something that's above you or below you if you're sitting or if it's okay close your eyes and just being aware that you've closed your eyes that awareness of closed lids and knowing that as well it's not completely dark light filters through you can see shadows And taking your attention to your breathing. And just noticing if you're breathing through your nose or if you're breathing through your mouth. And there's no right or wrong way. But just knowing what you're doing. That understanding of what's happening with your body right now. And wherever the breath enters your body, feeling the breath enter your body from the outside quite cooler air that comes in and as you breathe out is there an awareness of warmer air that leaves and just being with your breath and then as you breathe in this way taking your awareness to where you feel the breath in your body and again, there's no right or wrong. We're just training ourselves to experience what we're feeling. Where do you feel your breath? And can you, if possible, take your attention to your belly? And can you feel your breath here? If not, 
Where do you feel it? And just being aware that when we breathe in, lungs fill with air, the chest rises, belly might rise, body fills with air. And then as you breathe out, lungs empty, belly sinks. And there's a whole different feeling. And just being aware of what you feel as you breathe in. As you breathe out. You might notice quite quickly the mind wanders away when it might distract you, pull you away from that focus. And can you be patient enough just to bring your attention back to your breath and just start again? We haven't lost anything. It's not a problem. And we just start again. And the breath comes in. And the breath leaves. And each moment that you breathe is just another moment, a chance. But start again. And how does this breath feel as it enters your body? How does this breath feel as it leaves? So we're training ourselves to just be interested and curious. The simplest of things. Just have that feeling of gratitude, gratefulness, kindness starts to arise. We're glad that we can breathe in. We're glad that we can breathe out. We're not trying to control it. We're not trying to change our breath, manipulate, make it different. We're just being with our breath just as it is. Learning to accept our breath to be and not do. When we breathe in, when we breathe out, giving ourselves permission just to be with this. Now just widening the field of our awareness to take in the whole of our body. Whatever position you're in, just accepting our body as it is. And perhaps taking our attention to contact with the ground beneath. Contact, perception of connection. Allows feelings of safety to be cultivated.
And can we feel the ground beneath? Where in our body do we feel that? Is there weight or heaviness? It's something else. Is one part of us a little bit more achy or heavy than another part? And just feeling our body right now as it is. And again, not changing, not moving. And just being with our body as we breathe. And if there's a part of our body that is starting to feel quite intense or uncomfortable, can we just, instead of trying to ignore that part of our body, trying to push it away, can we draw our attention towards it? So not shying away from feelings of discomfort, but just coming into direct contact with how it feels in that place, in your knee or in your hip or in your lower back or somewhere else. Just feeling what you feel, being an objective observer. And if there is an impulse to move, can you just arrest that impulse? And just be with the feelings that you feel. If it's uncomfortable, how does it feel to be uncomfortable? And something else. And if it does get to a point that you do have to move, then you make that conscious decision to move. So we learn to respond to events rather than to react. And in this way we slow, we slow ourselves down. And we know and we understand how things are for us. And then being aware of your body again. How does your body feel now? Is there weight in certain areas? Lightness in others? Tingling? And numbness? Comfort? Content? And if every now and again you feel the breath in your body, being aware of your breath. And just resting in awareness of your body, your breath. And being aware, if it's all right, just expanding the field of your awareness to sound, sounds that are around. If you're inside or outside, what sounds do you hear? We're not actively searching for sounds because we don't have to actively search for anything. The sounds come to you. What sounds come to you? And if you find yourself being caught by one particular sound, whether you like it or whether you don't, try not to hold on, create a story or a narrative. But just move on to another sound. Another sound. Letting them come and go. And with the understanding, sometimes sounds are really quite loud. And sometimes they're really quite soft. And if there's silence, can you be aware of silence? It's been said that silence is all around us. It's just that we're not aware. So being aware of silence. 
your known sounds to come and go. not judging the sounds. It is a sound that we feel is quite beautiful. It is one that we just judge to be quite noisy. We treat those sounds in much the same way. We move on. Every now and again your attention just comes back to your breath or to a sensation in your body. You let it happen. And widening the field of your awareness again. To sound. Knowing that all of this is part of your experience of now. Is happening. Is relevant. Is part of your life part of learning acceptance, balance, health. Now again, just changing the focus of your attention to what's inside your head, to your thoughts. And it might be that you're already lost in thought. You might have been carried away somewhere else entirely, to another place, to another time. And just bring your attention back to where you are right now. And can we just watch our thoughts? just inside our head, turning our inner eye inwards to our mind. And much in the same way that we can hear sounds, be aware of sensation in our body, be aware of our breath. Can you just watch your thoughts? Knowing that you don't have to actively think, that you don't have to actively breathe or listen. All of these things just happen, just arise. So being with and noticing thoughts, just as they happen. And if you find yourself being caught by one particular thought, particularly if it's quite an intense thought, of fear, grief, anger, latching onto it, just treating it in much the same way as you would treat something quite meaningful. Because after all, it's just phenomena. And it's in your head. And just letting the thoughts come and go. Being aware of you, your body, your breath, this place your thoughts. And just knowing that thoughts come and go. If you don't latch onto a thought or hold onto a thought, it will just pass. So we're not trying to block anything or change anything. We're just allowing those thoughts to arise. We're noticing, being aware, letting them go. Just 
simple an idea that everything that you experience right now is relevant. Everything is part of you. So just being with yourself now. Watching your thoughts. Maybe just treating your mind in much the same way that you could treat a vast expanse of sky. Sometimes clouds come into your vision, sometimes they go. Sometimes thoughts come into your mind. And can we let them pass? So not latching on or holding on or keeping. But just knowing that we can let go. And we can begin again. Notice again. And now for the last few minutes or so of the meditation, just allowing yourself just to be as you are. Being aware of your body in this moment. If your attention rests with your breath, then it rests with your breath. If it rests with your body, then it's with your body. A sound or a thought, whatever arises. So just allowing ourselves to be just as we are. This experience to be just as it is. And ourselves to be truly as we are. knowing that in this place you're feeling whatever you feel. Just taking note of what's happening inside your body. How do you feel? There's calmness or quietness or something else. And again, just allowing it to be just as it is. Just knowing that within that, there's the idea of acceptance. Equilibrium, equanimity, being able to allow things just to come and go. And it doesn't mean that we don't care. Acceptance arises when we have that true sense of who we are. We can make conscious decisions whether to respond or to let it pass. To nourish ourselves on a deep level every day with these practices that allow us to come into contact with that deeper place, a quiet place. And that place that rests within us is always there, wherever you're going, whatever's happening. Knowing that sometimes we can't control what's going on around us but we can be with ourselves. And we can grow in strength as we just take time away from external circumstances and just be with ourselves to grow, to nourish and to rest. So as this practice just comes towards its close, in a sense congratulating yourself for taking this time to be here to nourish your health and just to give something back to you always
going through that understanding that whatever you give, you will always receive. So feeling what you feel, being who you are. And just starting to bring your attention back to your body and maybe moving, turning your gaze down and if it's okay, opening your eyes downwards into so the first person you see is yourself. You rest in breath and taking your time, knowing that the day can wait for you and you can return and just be with the rest of your activities or whatever you have planned, but always with that sense of quiet or calm and that sense of you. And maybe just leaving as a final phrase, just wishing yourself happy, well, safe and free. Thank you.